Welcome. So today we're going to work on the size of our body, the side body. Uh, lengthening it out, stretching it out. Uh, and allowing just a little bit more length, uh, just a sensation, just feeling, you know, into the size of the rib cage, the size of the waist, the size of the hip, the deep, the deep belly also comes into this, the armpit, the size of the arms, uh, twisting, lengthening. So yeah, so we're just going to see how that goes. Um, correct? So come and lie on your back to begin with, with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. So just landing in, feet are flat on the floor, I'm noticing the backs of your shoulders resting on the floor, the length of your spine, the sacrum, and the flat of your feet. And just bring your awareness into the side of the body, the left side, the right side, the, from the armpit all the way down to the sides of your buttocks, the sides of your hips. And what's your experience of the side of your body? How do you feel it? How do you sense it? You know, when you compare the sensations of front of body, belly, diaphragm, chest, and back of body, shoulders, rib cage, lower back, buttocks, and then you feel into side of body, is it more obvious to you, the front or the back, or is it more obvious to you, the sides to the front or the back? Then let's notice. Like how wide are you from the midline? So if you draw a line down the middle of you, traveling down through the center of your head, down through your nose, your mouth, and through the chest, Find the midline of the chest, down through the belly, down through the pelvis. You know, do both sides of you feel like they're the same size? Is the right side, whole side, equal to the left whole side of your body? When you, if you could imagine that you were to draw a line across the front of your hips, so just a straight line across the front of your hips, and then again, a straight line across your shoulders, like as if you could, yeah, just like rest a, a stick across your shoulders as such. Are the, is the distance from your right hip to your right shoulder longer, or is the distance from the left hip, left shoulder longer? Often what will happen is that when you draw that line across your shoulders and through the hip, you'll notice that the, there's one side that is shorter and one side that is longer. Just notice, is that true as you lie here? Um, maybe you can notice that in your neck as well. So just notice from your ear to your shoulder blade or to the top of your shoulder on the right. And then notice from your ear to the top of your shoulder on the left. And which way feels more compressed or which way feels longer and more open? Or is it the same? Maybe there's a very different side to the other. One side feels a little bit more squished, a little bit shorter, a little bit more compressed, and the other side feels very long and big and strong. They feel quite different from each other, the left side and the right side of my body. So great. So, flatten your lower back down. We always start with this movement. Just really good to check in with the spine. So flatten the lower back down, and then arching, breathing into your belly. And again, as you flatten your lower back down, pull backwards. And as you inhale, arch and breathe into your belly. And then again, flattening down, pulling backwards. And arching, breathing into your belly. So really feel, how do I flatten? And how do I arch? Let's connect into the length of your torso. Nice. And then drop both knees down towards the right. So as you drop down towards the right, you're gonna feel the side of your body on the left. Notice that side of your rib cage, side of your waist, side of your hip, maybe into the muscles of the leg a little bit. Coming back up to center, dropping down towards the left, and you'll feel the right side of your waist. Rib cage, waist, hip, and down into the side of your thigh. And back up to center. Again, down towards the right, you'll feel the left side, and coming back up to center. 
And down towards the left, and you'll feel the right side lengthening. And back up the center. So drop your knees down towards the right, and notice how the left side, right side is shortening, and the left side is lengthening. There has to always be, you can't lengthen, it's not very easy, but you can't lengthen both sides simultaneously at the same time. Um, you it tends to not work that way as sensation. So right now we're lengthening the left, and we're shortening the right. Back up to center, and then dropping down towards the left. And so you're shortening the left, and now you're stretching the right. Nice, and back up to center. Great, so bring your right foot up and rest it on the left knee. Push your elbows into the floor and drop your knees down towards the right. So now the stretch to the right side of your body has gotten a bit bigger. And then extend your left arm overhead and reach as far and up away with your left hand as you can. So you're trying to find the sensations of lengthening through the left side of your body. Breathing into it. My left hand is slightly floating off the floor rather than resting. It has a sense of tone as I reach and reach and reach through my left hand. As I inhale, as I exhale, I almost feel like my breath is playing with stretch. I'm allowing the, the length of the breath to really fill into the side of my waist and the side of my rib cage on the left hand side. Nice, and then coming all the way back to center, bend your elbow, bring your knee back up to center, and then stretch the left arm long and drop the left knee down towards the right again. And then bring yourself back up to center, bending the left elbow, draw the knee back up to center, stretch the left arm, drop your knees down towards the right. And one more time, bend your elbow, bring your knee back up to center, and then drop your knee down towards the right and stretch the left arm long. Nice, back up to center, rest your left arm long beside you. Take your right foot to the floor, bring your left foot to the top of the right knee. Drop both knees down towards the left. Your left foot will pull your right knee down and now reach the right arm long, letting your arm float just above the floor as you reach long through that arm. And feel the sense of the length through the right armpit the right rib cage, the waist, the hip, the side of the thigh. And really just stretching into it. Feel the sensation. Now do you connect the breath into the right side of your body? Connecting it, breathing into it, get longer, just a little bit more. And now bend the right elbow and draw the right knee back up to center. And then stretch the right arm long, drop the right knee down towards the left. Bend the right elbow, draw the right knee back up to center. Drop down towards the left and reach your right arm long. Great, last time. Bend your elbow, draw your knee back up to center. And then dropping out towards the left with your knees and reach your right arm over and just reach, reach, reach one last time and then come back up to center. Bring both arms long beside you and drop your feet to the floor. Nice. Right. Just drop both knees down to the right. Come back up to center and drop both knees down towards the left. And back up to center. Nice. So draw your right knee up towards you and just squeeze it in. And then stretch the left leg long until it floats just above the floor so your heel is surging away from you. So we're going to create some movement through the left leg which will help us move into the side of the body. So bring your left foot towards the left first. So you're opening, you're sliding your leg outwards straight out just above the floor and I'm pulling it out towards the left. And now glide your left foot towards the right as far as it'll go. And so I really feel like I'm just about to fall over almost because I'm pulling my left foot over towards the right. And I'm going to feel a stretch to the left side of my thigh. Draw your left leg towards the left. And then pull your left leg towards the right. I'm holding tightly onto the right knee and it's helping me counterbalance the movement of the left leg. Over towards the left with my left leg. And then over towards the right with my left leg. Nice, one more time. Over towards the left with my left leg. And then over towards the right with my left leg. Let's come back up to center, change, squeeze the left knee towards you, stretch the right leg long until it floats just above the floor. Nice, draw the right leg out towards
towards the right. Feeling the inner thigh lengthening, the deep groin lengthening. And then draw your right leg over towards the left. Really feel that there's a, a moment where I'm really pulling over and I'm engaging the pelvis in a very particular way. And then draw the leg towards the right. And then leg towards the left. Feel the end of the possibility of movement instability. And then towards the right. Last time, towards the left. Super. Bend both knees, squeeze your knees towards you. And then pushing your elbows into the floor, squeeze your knees together, squeeze your ankles together. Elbows are already anchored. And begin to drop your knees down towards the right and just find the balance point. Come back up to center and then down towards the left, finding the balance point. And back up to center. Down towards the right. And back up to center. If you hear snoring, it's my really old dog who's falling asleep beside the phone. Over towards the right, left. And back up to center. And then over towards the right. Nice. Back up to center. Stretch both legs up towards the ceiling and just roll out to your ankles. Big circles through your ankles. And then in the other direction. Cool. Bring your feet slightly apart and then cross the right thigh in front of the left and then bend your knees. Reach down, hold down to the knees and pull your knees towards you and then maybe slide your hands down the outsides of your shins and hold on to your ankles, not your feet, and then flex into your feet and pull your heels towards your hips. Stretch your legs long, cross the, bring your feet slightly wide, cross the left leg in front of the right, bend your knees, bring your hands to your knees, maybe slide your hands down the shins, hold on to your ankles and maybe pull your heels a little bit towards your hips. Nice. And then one more time, bring your feet slightly wide, cross the left thigh, right thigh in front of the left, Bend your knees, hold on to the knees, slide your hands down the shins, pull your ankles, your heels come towards your hips. Now stretch your legs, bring your feet wide, bring the left thigh in front of the right, bend your knees, spring your hands to your knees, or maybe slide your hands down your shins and pull your heels towards your hips. Nice, and stretch your legs up towards the ceiling, just roll up through your calves. Pull out to your knees a little bit, and then roll in the other direction. Super. So bring your, in the air, bring your right foot to rest on top of your left knee, and then pull your left knee towards you. And then release. Bring your left foot to the top of the right knee, and then pull your right knee towards you. And release. Bring your right knee towards you, Place it on top of your left knee and then pull your left knee close, close, close up. And then change. Bring your left foot to your right knee and then pull it up. We'll just do that a few times. Really feeling into the buttocks, the sides of your legs. And then as you squeeze your knee deeply up towards you. Right, one more time, your side. Nice. Bring both feet to the floor as wide as your mat. Drop your arms overhead. Drop both knees down towards the right. Try and draw the left knee down towards the floor. Coming all the way back up. And then drop both knees down towards the left. And try and draw the right knee down towards the floor. And coming back up to center. From here, push both, your feet are as wide as your mat. You should feel the edges of your mat underneath your feet. So push both feet down and rise upwards so that you're lifting up through the hips, your bum is squeezing, your thighs are strong, your arms are beside you. And then begin to sway from side to side. So you're rolling onto the big toe side of your feet and then the baby toe side of your feet. And you're swaying your knees from side to side, keeping your hips quite high. As you sway from side to side, you get a sense of the side of your body. You can rest your arms overhead if you wish. 
And as you sway from one side to the other side. Sway from one side to the other side. Stand and come all the way down, place your feet on the floor, and then roll over around to your side, and then come all the way up into your downward dog. So coming all the way into your downward dog, your feet are flat on the floor, your hands are pushing down, and you're just finding the length of you, the stretch of you. Nice, and then stretch the right foot up towards the ceiling, reaching up, and then bring the right foot a little bit over towards the left. And just feel that length. You can have your knee bent if you wish, or you can have your legs straight. We're just leaning into the side of the hip. Nice. And then lower your foot to the floor. Stretch the left foot up towards the ceiling and lean the left foot a bit over towards the right. And then lower it down. Nice. Lift the right foot up and then cross it down to the outside of your left side of your mat. So you cross your leg down to the outside of your mat and then stretch it up. And then bend your knee and draw your knee up towards your shoulder, right knee, right shoulder. Stretch your right leg up towards the ceiling and then cross your leg down until it's down to the outside of the left side of your mat. And then stretch your leg up, bend your knee, draw your knee up towards your shoulder. Nice, one more time. Stretch your right leg up towards the ceiling. Drop your right foot down to the outside of the left foot. Stretch your right leg up, bend your knee, draw your knee up towards your shoulder. Nice, change. Stretch the left foot up towards the ceiling. Bring your left foot over towards the right. And then drop your foot down to the outside of the right side of your mat. Stretch your leg up towards the ceiling. Bend your knee. Draw your knee towards your shoulder. Stretch your leg up towards the ceiling. And then drop your foot down to the right side of your mat. Crossing behind, reaching up. Bend your knee, draw your knee towards your left shoulder. Stretching up towards the ceiling. And lowering down until your toe comes to the outside of your mat. Nice, one more time. Stretch your leg up. Bend your knee. Draw your knee up towards your shoulder. And then bring your foot to the floor. So bend your right knee. As you bend your right knee, lean into the left, uh, lean your bum over towards the right and you'll feel more stretch to the left side of the waist, left side of the rib cage. And then come back up to center. Bend the left knee. Lean into the right side of your waist. You really feel like your bum drops down on the left and you can feel more of the right side of your body. And just do that from side to side. Bending one knee, leaning. Bending one knee, leaning. Bending one knee, leaning. And bending one knee, leaning. Nice. Bring your knees wide. And rest them all the way down into a child's pose. Resting in child's pose for just a moment. Nice, and then stretch your right arm just a little bit more out. So draw your left arm a bit in. So bend your left elbow a little bit and walk your right arm as far out as you can. Just feel the stretch of your armpit and your rib cage. And then bend your right elbow in and stretch the left arm long as far out. You're staying low to the floor with your head as you reach long through the left side. I'm almost crawling my fingers forward. And then bend your left elbow. Reach the right arm long, crawling your fingers forward. Just got a sense of how to engage from your belly down all the way into your fingertips. And then coming back, bend your right elbow, stretch out into the left arm, crawling out with your fingertips. Last time, bend your left elbow, reach out with the right arm, reaching long. Nice, and come all the way back, both hands to the floor, into your cat pose. 
So from here, lift your right knee so it's straight back behind you and then glide your right knee to the outside of your left knee. So your knee's now resting on the floor to the outside. And then bring your right knee up, bring it straight out to the side and draw your right knee up towards your right shoulder. And then lift your knee up, back behind you, drop it down to the outside and then lift your knee up and draw it over towards the right shoulder. Nice, one more time, draw your knee straight back, drop your knee down, sit your bum backwards a little bit. And come all the way back, cat pose. Lift the left knee up straight back behind you. Drop the knee down to the outside of your right knee. And then lift your knee up. And bring it out to the side and all the way up towards your shoulder. And bring it out to the side, straight back. And behind the right knee, over on the right side. And lift your knee up, over towards the right. And left and up towards your shoulder. All the way back. One last time to the outside of the right knee. And then bring your knee to the floor. Nice. Push back into your downward dog. Super. So step your right foot forward between your hands. Drop your left knee to the floor. And then bring your right hand to your right knee and rise up and reach up towards the ceiling. So you're reaching up and you're looking up. And then tuck your chin in so you're looking straight forward. And reach with your right hand down towards the floor. So imagine that you can touch the floor on the right hand side. And then come back, bring your right hand to your right knee, bend the left elbow and try and touch the floor on the left hand side. And then reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. Nice, change, bend the right elbow, stretch the left hand up. Bend the left elbow, stretch the right hand up. Nice, bring both hands to the floor, lengthen through the back knee, stretch out through the front leg. And then drop your back knee to the floor, bring your right hand behind you, stretch the left arm long, and then bend your elbow to the outside of your knee. And really feel like you're opening the side body as you do it. And then try and look back towards the back foot. Draw that right shoulder back as you lengthen through the left side of your waist. Sink a bit deeper into your hips. Nice, release, bring both hands forward. Step back, downward dog. Lengthening through your arms, stretching back through your heels. And just find your spine. Now step the left foot forward between your two hands. Drop your right knee to the floor. Bring your left hand to your left knee. And then reach the right hand up towards the ceiling, reaching up, looking up. Nice, tuck your chin in so you're looking straight forward. And then bring your left hand down towards the floor. You're reaching down. You might touch it, you might not. Nice. And then bend your left elbow, reach it up. And bend your right elbow, reach it down. Feel a few times, reach your right hand up. Left hand down. And reach your left hand up and your right hand down. Nice, one more time. Right hand up. Left hand down, and left hand up, and right hand down. Super. Bring both hands forward. Step back. Oh, no, don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just lengthen your back leg. Lengthen your front leg. Bend your front knee. Drop your back knee to the floor. Wrap your left arm around the back of your waist. Reach your right hand forward, and then wrap it around so that you bring your elbow to the outside of that left knee, and then look behind you towards your back foot. Super. Both hands to the floor. Come all the way back into your downward dog. And bend your right knee, lean into the left side of your waist. Bend your left knee, lean into the right side of your waist. Right side, the left side. Nice. Step your right foot forward. Turn your back foot at a 45 degree angle. And bring your right elbow to rest onto your right thigh. And then drop your right hand down around the back of your body. Left hand down around the back of your body, sir. And then open your chest. And really lean into that left shoulder. Bend your front knee a little bit more. Nice, and then release your left hand. Reach it straight up towards the ceiling. And then lower your right hand all the way down to your, uh, your fingers come to the big toe side of your foot. Stretch your left arm long and strong. 
Finding the length of the left leg and length of the left arm. Nice. Turning towards the floor, bring your left hand to the floor. Turn to bring your right elbow back. Turn your back toes so they're flat on the floor. Lift your elbow up and then extend long up into the right arm. But again, you're really strong into the left side of your body as you do this. Get really long on the left side. Nice. Bend your elbow. Bring your hand to the floor. Step back. Downward dog. And just find your movement into your spine, connecting to your legs. Nice. So step the left foot forward to the, between your two hands. Turn your back foot at a 45 degree angle. Bring your left elbow to your left knee and bring your right hand behind you. So you're tucking your hand in behind so it's resting on the back of your waist. And then open your right shoulder back. Bend your front knee a little bit more an opening across through the front of your hips, pushing into the baby toe side of the right foot. Nice, and then reach your right hand straight up towards the ceiling, reach it over your ear, and then drop the left hand down to the floor so your fingertips are on the floor, and get long through the right side of your body. Feel the length. Get longer. So then lower the right hand down till it comes to the floor and then draw that left elbow back. Turn your back toe so that it's standing on the floor. Turn to bring your elbow up so you're drawing your elbow back to bring your fingers to the front of your shoulder and then extend your left hand straight up towards the ceiling. Be really strong on the right side of your body. Nice, lowering down, both hands to the floor, step back, downward dog. All right, bend both knees, let them tap down, stretch back. Bend both knees, step them down, drop them down, step, and pull back. Nice, step the right foot forward between your two hands, turn your back foot at a 45 degree angle, reach both hands straight up towards the ceiling. Nice, open your chest towards the right, no, left, 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 left. <laughs> drop your arms down. Looking towards the right hand and then drop your left hand down behind you so it's tucked in around the back of your waist and reach your right hand straight up towards the ceiling and drop deeper through the right hip as you reach up. Even lean backwards a little bit more so you're even trying to really glide backwards with that right arm lengthening. Front knee is pulling forward and right, knee, right arm is pulling backwards. Nice, change. Drop the right arm down, reach the left arm over. And my right hand is across the front of my belly. And then change. Reach the right arm up and the left arm behind you. Nice, change. Right hand in front of you, round your belly. Reach your left arm long. And change. Reach your right arm up, left arm behind you. Bring both arms down. Step back, downward dog. Find your downward dog. And just let that settle. Nice. So step the left foot forward between your hands. Turn your back foot at a 45 degree angle, rising up and reaching up. Turn your chest towards the right, drop your arms down. You're looking towards the right, the left arm. And then turn the left palm, reach it up, and drop the right hand behind you as you reach up, drop deeper through your hip. Make sure your knee is moving towards the left on the front leg, and you're pushing down into the baby toe side of your right foot. Even lean a little bit more back towards the left with, oh, towards the right with the left arm. Nice, and then change. Sweep the left arm across the front of your belly and reach the right arm over your side of you. Change. Reach the right arm behind you. Reach the left arm up and back. Reach the left hand across the front of your belly. Reach your right arm over. And reach your right arm back. 
Reach the left hand up. Nice. Come all the way down. Step back. Downward duck. Nice. Find your ground. Right, so come onto your mat into child's pose. And just reach your arms out forward in front of you and drop your head down. Have your knees wide. And just land. So swing your feet over towards the right and then stretch both legs out long in front of you. So as you stretch both legs out long, just get a sense of your seat, your legs. Nice. And then bring your feet wide. So how wide? It depends. Also if you find that when you're sitting you're really falling backwards then put a block underneath your bum and that will, be, that will help you kind of stay upright. If you're really rounding backwards then either bring your feet closer or block underneath your bum to tilt you more forward. And just find your seat. So the next movement, I'll describe it as trying to chop off your baby toe with your baby finger. And I usually have a sound that I make as I do it. So sweep the left hand behind your back, and then this arm is gonna go down. So your right arm is reaching towards the left side, and I'm kind of becoming kind of elastic as I go down. So I go boing, and then I come up. And then I sweep my right hand behind me and then I lengthen down through the left arm towards the right hand side. And then coming back up. And so I'm just gliding from right arm reaches towards the left side, finding the bounce. And then the left arm reaches towards the right side. And then coming back up. And really just find a sense of the, the movement through the side of your body. And then lengthening into the waist. Moving into the rib cage, armpit to outside of your arm, baby to, baby to finger side. How is that through the body? And how do you rock from one side and lengthen through the other side? Find the boinginess or the elasticity, the pliability of the side of your body. Is that an accordion there almost. It's quite amazing. It's like this incredible movement possibility through the intercostals and the sides of the rib cage. Nice. And all the way back to center. Cool. So turn and face the right leg and just bring your hands to the floor, point through your right foot and lift your right leg off the floor. And just lift it up and down five times. Two, three, four, five. Great, come to the other side, both hands on either side of the left leg, and then lift it up and down five times. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Both legs. One, two, three, four, five. If you find that lifting your leg is really hard, you can do a fish type movement where you kind of flick your leg. So we're going to do it again. Flick your leg like a fish. Or lift your leg five times again. One, two, three, four, five, and then left side. One, two, three, four, five. Both sides. We double fish. <laughs> See? One, two, three, four, five. Super cool. So face the right side and keep your left hand in the middle and then reach your right hand up towards the ceiling and, and then dive with your right hand over towards the left side. So you're walking your left hand forward as you dive your left shoulder down towards your left knee and you're looking at the ceiling underneath your armpit. So I'm not dropping my arm down in front of my head. I'm really trying to keep my arm beside my head as I reach towards my left foot with my right hand. And just breathing into the right side of your body. Maybe bring a little bit more weight into the right waist, into the right leg. And just create a length through the side of the body. Nice. Drop your hand down towards the floor. Come back up. Leave the right hand where it is. Turn and face towards the left. 
Reach the left hand up towards the ceiling and then dive with the left hand down towards the right foot, bringing the right shoulder down towards your right knee and your left arm over your ear towards the right foot. Drop a bit more weight into that left foot, left buttock and then lengthen. And drop down towards the floor and come back up to center. Right. Come into a cross-legged position with the left foot on the inside, right foot on the outside. Bring both arms forward in front of you and then turn your right, draw your right elbow back and bring your fingers behind you, twist towards the right. Holding on to the right knee with your left hand. And then change. Bring the right foot to the inside, both arms forward in front of you. Draw the left elbow back and twist towards the left. Nice. And coming back to center. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees apart. And then bring your hands either side of that right knee. So right hand is behind the knee, left hand is in front of the shin. And then you're going to try and bring your nose down towards the knee itself. So you're going to try and bring your nose down, but not towards the shin end of it. It's more towards the thigh end of your knee. And as you do so, maybe walk your right hand back further, left hand more forward. You're trying to find the side of your body. Maybe walk the left arm a bit more forward towards the right side. And dropping your head down in the direction of your right knee. Keep that left hand active, keep it crawling forward a little bit more. Coming all the way back. And bring both hands out of the side of the right left knee. And then drop your head down in the direction of the left thigh knee and then walk your right hand over towards the left maybe walk the left hand a little bit more back and drop down with to bring your knee down towards your your shield your forehead down towards your knee And coming all the way up, stretch both legs straight out in front of you. Bend the right knee so that your foot is a little bit out from your thigh. Bring your left hand to the floor beside you and then dive with the right hand to the outside of the calf, the foot, the ankle. See what you hold on to, it could be your knee. And then drop your head down in the direction of your left knee. But you're pulling with that arm, uh, that right arm, so you're getting a sense of the right shoulder, the right side of your waist. You're twisting deeply into the or so as you lengthen through that right armpit. Nice. Look forward, holding on to whatever it is that you're holding on to. Push your right foot down, your left hand down, lift your bum off the floor and drop down. Lift your foot off the floor, drop down. Lift your bum off the floor, drop down. Lift your foot off the floor, drop down. Lift your foot and bum together. Pausing there. Nice. Lower your bum and foot to the floor. Slightly more difficult maybe. Bring both hands over towards the left. Push your right foot down. Push both hands down. Lift your bum or your foot or both together. And push down into both hands. Nice. Lower your bum to the floor. Stretch your leg out long. Other side. Bend your left knee. Bring your right hand to the floor. A little bit out from your side. There's a good hand print between my hip and my hand. Reach the left hand forward and hold on to the outside of the knee, the calf, the foot, and wrap your head down in the direction of your right knee. My left buttock is lifted off the floor. That's okay. That's rising up. Keep holding on to whatever it is you're holding on to. Push down to your left foot, right hand, 
Lift your bum, lowering down. Lift your left, lowering down. Lift your bum, lowering down. Lift your leg, lowering down. Lift your bum leg. Pause there. Lowering down. Bring both hands over towards the right hand side. I have to bring my right hand a bit more back for that to work for me. Drop your head down a little bit because your bum and your head kind of exist in the same kind of dynamic. If my head stays high, it's really hard for me to lift my bum. Whereas the more I drop my head down, the easier it is for me to lift my bum. So both hands are pushing down into the floor. Lift your foot, your bum or your leg bum. Pushing down into both hands, rise. And lowering all the way down. Super cool. Roll out through your shoulders. Big circles. And then in the other direction. And big circles. And then just roll out through your belly. Circling. And get a sense of your spine. And then in the other direction. Nice. Just twist gently towards the right. Look behind you. And look over your shoulder towards the left, look behind you. And then come back to centre. Come lie on your mat. So your knees are bent, and your feet are flat on the floor, and just gonna land. Arms are long beside you. And we're just gonna do a few spinal rolls. So flattening down onto the spine, we're going to roll up along your spine. And roll slowly, steadily down until you land on the floor. At the very end, you can do the pelvic tilt if you wish. And then flatten down and then roll up along the spine, doing using that momentum of the pressure that you've created. See how that is? Rolling up and down along your spine, feeling the, the dynamics of spine in this moment. Nice. And then walk your ankles till your ankle bones are touching. And cross your right thigh over the top of the left. Push your elbows into the floor, give your chest some space, and drop down towards the little right, and reach your left arm overhead. You can turn your head. It doesn't really matter, actually. Maybe not to the right, turn it towards the left. And imagine that your nose is going to come down towards your left arm. And you're lengthening, almost like trying to yawn. Imagine you've just woken up and you're like, oh, I need to yawn. And so feel like you're yawning from that left knee all the way up into your fingertips. You're like, oh, super stretch. And then relax that. And then one more time, imagine that you've just woken up and you need to stretch. So you've got to yawn a little bit, or reach a little bit. Is that really awesome? It's called a pandiculation, which is this contracting stretch that we do in yawning. Uh, Bring your knee back up to centre, change, both elbows push into the floor, cross your left thigh across the top of the right, and drop both knees down towards the left, reach your right arm overhead, turn your head towards the right, and then just settle into that. Right. And then begin to reach, like you've just woken up and you need to stretch a little bit more, like you're like, oh, I'm just going to lengthen the stretch, I'm going to awaken, and then let that relax. And then again, reach and stretch like you have just woken up and you need to lengthen. And then let that relax. Nice. Bring your knee back up to centre. And drop your knees wide. Bring the soles of your feet together. Hands can rest on your lower belly. Or you can rest your hands on your inner thighs. You can rest your hands on your chest, on your, on your head. Arms are long, elbows bent. Whatever feels right for you. And just see where do you want to place your pelvis? So pelvis, often when we just land into this, there's a small arch in the lower back. If you can stay like that. I love flattening down. It feels like it's a, something that my spine prefers. So just see, do you want to flatten down or do you want to stay arching? As you wish. And then we're just going to play with our inner thighs a little bit. So pushing the soles of your feet together, lift your knees maybe two inches. And then slowly, like they're floating down like butterfly wings, let your knees drop that two inches and really sink and widen and soften and soften and soften and soften and soften and soften and soften. And you'll find that you actually have probably gone deeper 
and then lift your knees around two inches, really not that much. And then sink and slide and ease and soften and relax and deepen and lengthen. And then again, pushing your feet together, lift your knees a little bit. Feel the front of your belly engage, feel your inner thighs engage. And then really, really slowly let your knees widen and let yourself fall into the wideness of your inner thighs. One last time. Lift your knees around two inches. And then slowly let your feet relax, let your calves relax, let your knees relax, your inner thighs, your pelvis, your buttocks, your belly, your shoulders, your chest, your thighs, the whole of you relaxing. Deeply resting. Resting into the soft of your belly. Can you ever so like sometimes it's really nice to almost begin the lift. So it's like don't lift, but almost just oh, I'm gonna let you all oh, know I've changed my mind and then fall deeply down and soften again. And I go, oh I might lift and then fall again and soften and soften and settle. I'm just feeling that how do you settle and soften and deepen? Nice. You can bend your knees, bring your feet to stand, you can stretch your legs out, or you can stay as you are. You can just leave your knees wide. For some people this is an incredibly relaxing thing to do. For everybody else it's not really. But see, if you're one of those people who really likes this and feels very restful, then stay where you are. Otherwise draw your knees up and then either stretch your legs long or have your knees bent or whatever way you want to come to rest. And just come to land. So now as you feel into the front of your body and the back of your body and the sides of your body, is there any difference in how you map the three-dimensional circularness of your legs, of your belly and torso? Or may I feel roundy? It's like this, through my roundy thighs and roundy calves roundy belly and roundy torso and I feel this roundiness through my throat as well. It's like I can feel the, the full circumference of me. And I can feel the, the whole dimensionality of the, the shape of me. It's like there's an outside, there's a container that's roundy and then there's all this incredible inside space. And this landscape, this inner architecture of awesomeness. Rest in your awesomeness, in the wonder of you. Just really just know that you are great. And notice how you react to that sense statement. It's always interesting. You yeah, already know that it's okay. It will be okay. There is wellness. There will always be wellness. It's a bit like silence, there is always silence, we just need to quieten down to hear it. So there's always wellness, we just need to orient towards it. It's like there's so much to be grateful for. We just need to have that as our point of view. Well, as you lie here, maybe just think of three things that you're grateful for. Three things that have made today a better day. Three things that have resourced you. Could be so random, like your cup of tea in the morning, the fact that it was sunny, and that you got to do yoga today. They're great things. So just find your three things. So stay where you are, or you can get up. 
as you wish. Quite nice to stay. You'll stay until you you kind of feel done. Great. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you again tomorrow.